welcome to another devlog for Amber's Tale, our 2D Metroidvania. Today, I'll be sharing some of the major breakthroughs we've had, from new abilities to technical renovations that have been happening behind the scenes. And we've got an awesome sponsor, but we'll get to that in a bit. So, I had an epiphany. While our demo did flaunt the dash ability, I wanted to give you all a bit more mobility from the get-go, to speed up the game flow. So I've added a roll to Amber's base kit, it's not just about movement though. Imagine this, you're cornered by an enemy and you roll out of harm's way, gearing up for that impressive counterattack. This is precisely the dynamic combat system I'm aiming for. One where not only Amber, but even her adversaries have unique abilities. I'm committed to crafting dynamic enemies. Gone are the days of simple patrol patterns. Our foes will boast unique abilities, making each encounter a dance rather than a standoff. The goal? to offer players more ways to respond, adapt, and dominate. I might have been a little bit inspired by the recent Crow Swan demo. All right, now onto the centerpiece of our updates, the slam. Amber channels her shadow, and it rises and crashes with thunderous might, obliterating everything beneath and I absolutely love the way the ability both looks and feels. Naturally, it was inspired by the desolate die from Hollow Knight, but hey, this is a Metroidvania, not everything will be original. Originally, when I created this ability, it was a bit clunky. You could only use it while on the ground, and you froze on the spot for way too long. I scrapped that version because it just broke the combat tempo. Now, it's all about dynamism, and synergy, especially when paired with our new mobility options. Honestly, it feels so fluid, so rhythmic, and I love how it's evolved. And of course, the slam is a working title, so drop those name suggestions in the comments below. Now, a quick word from our sponsor, Milanote. I've been an advocate for Milanote for many years now throughout my time at university, and I use it as my primary tool for mapping out ideas and creating documentation for any games I make. Whether it's gathering inspiration, creating skill trees for ability systems, or even mapping out an entire level. Milanote has it all. I can show instead of tell, and demonstrate ideas better than if I was to write up a design document. Starting a project is easy, with over a hundred built-in templates for designers, photographers, and so much more. Milanote is available for free with no time limit, and there is a link in the description down below. Gone are those days when transitioning between rooms felt like you were teleporting. Now Amber walks gracefully between different levels. I really think this subtle touch anchors the game into a cohesive world, making you feel like you're navigating a continuous, interconnected realm. It's not just aesthetics, it's about engagement and immersion, and it needs to feel right. Feel. That's one word that is at the core of everything I create. And the feel pack by More Mountains is an absolute gem that I found in the Unity's Dev Days of Summer sale, and it has been an absolute game changer in helping me do that. Remember those damage effects from the slam ability? That's all thanks to this add-on. It makes it super easy to add post-processing, camera shakes, and so many other functions that contribute to the game feeling juicy. It's about making the player feel every hit, every interaction, every transition. Plus, I'm developing Amber's Tale solo, so anything I can pick up to help speed up the process of creating systems goes a long, long way. Now, I'm about to get a bit technical for a second, so bear with me. Most of my time this month has actually been spent refactoring a lot of my code. This isn't just about tidiness, it's about setting myself up for the future, ensuring that as I add more and more features, my foundation remains solid. Originally, the player script contained references for every prefab, transform, and feedback, making it more and more cluttered as features were added. To streamline this, I've created data scripts for each individual state. Each script now focuses solely on the needs of its specific state. For instance, the script for dash data contains everything relevant for the dash function, from variables such as velocity or cooldown, to any future upgrades or abilities that it might get. 
it's all there in one place. And this makes it easier to modify as the game evolves. It also allows me to save and load certain variables using my new central game manager. It essentially acts as the game's command center. It manages essential functions such as the aforementioned saving and loading, setting checkpoint locations, and will handle things like UI elements when the player dies. For all those interested in a deeper dive into the technical side of these improvements, including some source code, I've shared a detailed breakdown on my Patreon. You'll be able to find exclusive demos there as they roll out as well. Check the link in the description if you're interested. And a special thanks to our celestial backer, Zap Maggot. Oh yeah, I've also added a wall jump. It is still work in progress. I'm refining it to feel snappy. I don't want these controls to feel floaty in any way. I introduced tiny tweaks while creating this to make controls feel a bit more intuitive, like that brief moment at the peak of Amber's jump. Gravity now lessens, giving you that extra moment to strategize and react to things, maybe even get a more precise attack in. Every movement you make should be intentional and will react accordingly. As the game's mechanics are evolving and I I keep making new and new abilities and I keep experimenting with them, the more I realize just how vital these small changes are and how much of a big difference they make to the overall experience. Amber's tale is on a journey of evolution, from new abilities to refining mechanics and behind the scenes upgrades. Every step is about giving you a memorable experience. Keep the feedback coming and let's make Amber's tale truly special. Until our next update, why not check out this video?